Hey guys, it's Coach Allen, and now I want to share with you my three favorite one-legged jumping exercises. So I'm going to take you through some plyometric drills for those of you that prefer to jump off of one leg. For the sake of the video, I'll only demonstrate everything off of one leg, but it's so important to have symmetry that you work both legs equally. Even if you jump, 90% of the time that you do a one-footed jump, if you jump off of your left leg, I still wanna make sure that you're training your right leg just as often and with the same intensity. And don't worry about it if one leg feels more natural or if one leg you can jump higher. Having an asymmetry and an output is normal, but just because it's normal doesn't mean it's acceptable. Our goal with training is to try to get both legs uh, as close to being the same as possible. The first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna balance on my left foot, and this is just going to be a pogo jump. So I'm just jumping and landing off of my one leg, and I wanna make sure that when I'm landing, I'm letting the impact dissipate through my ankles, my knees, and my hips, almost like an accordion. I wanna be very fluid with everything that I do, and when I'm being fluid, that'll make sure that I'm landing safely, I'm landing softly, I'm landing quietly, and I'm landing on balance. Uh, sets and reps is always the question that we get the most. From a sets and reps standpoint, the quality of movement is way more important than the quantity of reps. So I wanna make sure you're doing everything technically correct. But anywhere from four to six to maybe eight to 10 on each leg will be more than sufficient. And there's the reason there's such a big range is because there's a big range of players that are watching this right now. If you're 10, 11, 12 years old and you're brand new to jump training and you haven't done a ton of performance training in general or built the requisite strength, then you're gonna to wanna to use a lower volume of training. If you have a higher training age and you've been doing this for a while, then you can certainly have a higher training volume. So I'm gonna balance on one leg and I'm simply gonna explode up and I'm coming down. And I'm trying to make sure that I've got good balance in between. I'm driving that knee up as high as I can, and I'm landing on balance with each leg. Of course, we would do the same thing going to the other side. So that is our one-legged pogo jump. For our next, my second favorite, we'll go back to our box here. And this time, I'm gonna take off from one leg, but I'm going to land on two feet. We always wanna be very, very careful about any exercise or drill that has us land on one foot. And landing on one foot on the top of an elevated surface is probably not the safest way to go about it. So I wanna be very careful with that. So I'm gonna balance on my left, I'm gonna explode up, and I'm gonna land on two feet. And then I can go ahead and step down in between. So we're eliminating impact, one foot, and land on two. We'll give you a couple more reps. One foot, explode, land on two. Last one, explode up land on two. And once again, you do anywhere from three to four to seven to eight reps for each side. Last one we're gonna do is a speed skater. We're gonna alternate sides, but we're still only going off of one leg at a time. So I wanna cover as much lateral distance as I can. It's important as basketball players that you understand that being explosive is so important, but there's more to being explosive than just jumping straight up and coming straight down. You need to be explosive laterally. You need to be explosive front to back, right to left. So now we're gonna do a speed skater where I'm balancing on the outside leg and I'm gonna to explode to the other side. So we're going back and forth and I'm getting good stabilization and good control each side. You could do anywhere from six to eight to 10 to 12, two to three sets of each. I'm a big believer that regardless of your preference, of jumping off of one or jumping off two, that you have a healthy mixture of both. So even though these are my three favorite one-legged jumping exercises, it's also important that you folks train doing two-foot jumps and two-foot lands, even if you have a preference. And no matter what type of jumping and landing you're doing, you have to land safe, soft, quiet, and on balance.